Hello, my name is Robert Sapolsky. I'm a professor of neuroscience at Stanford University in the United States, and the I Have the Right people have asked me to make a few comments. Now, what I study for more than 40 years is the effects of stress on the brain. What do I mean by stress? Sometimes it is something massive that affects all of us, an earthquake. Sometimes it's something much smaller that still affects all of us. You worry about money, about relationships, about your family. But sometimes the sources of stress are very specific to where you may happen to live. Maybe you're in a country where the economy has been destroyed by Western sanctions, where religious police can beat you to death for no reason or tell you you can't go to school. Maybe you live in a country where there's a dictator, where there's nothing but corruption, where bombs go off in the marketplace. Or maybe you're in a country where you're a second-class citizen and your people don't have a homeland or maybe your homeland was stolen from you 70 years ago and you now live under the guns of an occupying army. All of these are circumstances of massive chronic stress. Now, what does stress do to your health in those circumstances? And what we know now is it puts you more at risk for heart disease. It puts you more at risk for metabolic diseases, for sleep disruption, for digestive disorders, by disruption and fertility of your reproduction, disruption of growth, tissue repair, trouble for your immune system where you can't fight off infections as readily, or in your brain, chronic stress, and you don't learn as easily. Your memory is impaired. Your concentration is impaired. In all of these cases, you are suffering from a stress-related medical disease. Now, let me tell you about three scenarios that are relevant. First scenario, it's one of those periods of terrible stress, and you find you have a headache all the time, you're dizzy, your chest hurts, you tell your family, you tell your friends, and they say, oh no, maybe you are getting heart disease from the stress, go to a doctor. And you do that and the doctor says, yes, you've got high blood pressure, here's what we're going to do to treat it. You are suffering from a medical disease. Second scenario, it's one of those periods of stress and you notice you are exhausted. You are constantly thirsty and hungry and yet you are losing weight. You tell your family and friends, they say, oh no, maybe you have diabetes, go to the doctor and you do that. And the doctor says, yes, you have diabetes and here's a medication because you have a medical disease. Or the third scenario. It's one of those terribly stressful periods and you find you are always frightened. You are always afraid. You never feel safe and everyone else around you seems to be doing fine. Or maybe in that stressful period, you find you always feel sad. Nothing is a source of pleasure. Nothing motivates you. Nothing is something to anticipate. Every day is a battle to get out of bed in the morning because it's all too much. So you're suffering from some sort of anxiety disorder or depressive disorder. What do you do? Do you go to your friends and family? Do they send you to the doctor? No, you don't tell anyone about this. It's a secret because you were ashamed. You were ashamed because everybody else seems to be doing so well. You're ashamed because you can work hard and fight your way through all sorts of, you should be able to fight this and master this on your own. Or maybe you're shamed because you're blessed in so many ways. You're so much more fortunate than other people and you feel worried, you feel sad. That's shameful. And what's happening in all these cases is you are suffering from a major psychiatric disorder like generalized anxiety or major depression. Now, anxiety disorder, major depression, psychiatric diseases like that are tragic for at least three reasons. First off, because it is so common, about 20% of the planet is destined to have one of these diseases. Second is, even amid some medical treatments and medications, most people are still not treated for these terrible diseases. 
But the third tragedy is the biggest one, which is we feel shame. We feel unwilling to tell anybody else about this. And somehow you have a biological disease, just like heart disease, just like diabetes, a biological disease of your brain chemistry, and instead you keep it secret and it is shameful and you suffer and there is no reason to because it is a medical disease. Now, it has been written that every life is sacred, including yours. You deserve to be spared from disease, including psychiatric disease. You have the right to feel better. So please go and do that, because it is a shame if you are suffering for no reason at all. Now, on that note, thank you for your attention, and I wish you well all good health including mental health, and thank you for paying attention to this.